The weekend has finished. Monday morning has arrived and you're back in the office. Here are 12 business English expressions that will set your English standard high for the rest of the week. So, first things first, another strange British expression because, of course, the first thing is going to be first. Now, normally, when you return to the office after the weekend, you can almost guarantee somebody is going to ask you, how was your weekend? Now, we could, of course, provide that highly engaging, high quality response of, yeah, not bad, bit busy, yours? Or we could use this opportunity to really push to improve our English communication and provide a much better answer like, well, there were lots of moving parts actually. I spent the majority of it putting out fires with my rental properties, not literally, obviously, but they really do keep me on my toes. So let's take a look at the three expressions I used there. Lots of moving parts. Lots of moving parts means a complicated situation with a lot of variables or components. Putting out fires. Putting out fires means to deal with many small problems, usually at work. To be kept on one's toes. To be kept on one's toes means to cause someone to be alert and prepared to deal with problems. Now, after the initial pleasantries have been exchanged, the conversation may move on to the week ahead with a nice little expression, how's your week looking? In response to this question, we could use a nice general statement about our work, like, well, I've had to hit the ground running today. I'm really having to push the envelope at the moment just to stay ahead of the curve. Um, I beg your pardon? I didn't quite get that. Let's have a look at these expressions in a bit more detail to properly understand the response. And yes, in case you're wondering, these expressions are used every minute of every day somewhere in the English speaking world. Hit the ground running. Hit the ground running means to start something and proceed at a fast pace with great enthusiasm. To push the envelope. To push the envelope means to approach or extend the limit of what is possible. To stay ahead of the curve. To stay ahead of the curve means to be faster about doing something than other people or companies. So after providing a general response, we could use a few more business English expressions to add a little bit more detail. With a statement like, you know the investors are really rocking the boat on this current project, but the boss is as cool as a cucumber. He just lets me deal with it all. All he wants is to be kept in the loop. I love it. Rock the boat. To rock the boat means to do or say something that will upset people or cause problems. Cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber means calm, untroubled and relaxed. To be kept in the loop. To be kept in the loop means to be part of a group of people who know or make decisions about important things. And of course, in order to break off that conversation and move on to our own work, we could use a couple of expressions like these. Right, I've really got to get on. I've got a few reviews to get out the door by close of play Thursday, and if I can do it, that'll round the week off nicely. I'll catch up with you later. Close of play. Close of play means the end of the working day. To get something out of the door. To get something out of the door means to bring any task to a stage where it can be delivered to the customer or client. To round off the week. To round off the week means to bring something to a satisfactory conclusion. So if you normally hit the ground running on a Monday morning, now at least you can stay cool as a cucumber and use some impressive English.